Good evening, ladies and gents, boys and girls. Welcome to Global Guitar at HU. We are here on this very special occasion on the A38 boat with Mr. Heinrich Freischlader. He's playing here for the second time on the A38 boat. Henry, we'd like to welcome you back to uh, the boat. It's, how does it feel to be back here in Hungary? Very, very good. Yeah, we love Hungary and especially Budapest because we had the like the best show of the whole tour here because of the audience was so euphoric. So we really wanted to be here again for the final show of the tour, and we are very glad to be back. Yeah. So, so um, I understand that you guys were doing a. You guys and the, coming to the end of a tour, you yeah. did some over 80 concerts almost, and this is your final leg. That's right. Yeah, we've been on tour in Germany, Switzerland, Austria, then in England, Belgium, Netherlands, and this is like the final show of the House in the Woods tour, and then it's over. Some relaxing time, but tonight's gonna be good again. One yeah, man, it will be good, of course. Okay, now Henrik, I believe you have something uh, special to show us here. Yeah? We basically wonder if you can give us a look. Peek at your at your at your girlfriends here on the in, in the back of the A38 boat. Ah, so to be honest, I don't have many guitars, but the one I have, I really love. So these are my three guitars that I carry on the road. Okay. I have like three more at home, but um, so far this is all I need. This is um, 1963 Stratocaster. It's very old and battered already. Um, has a good vibe, and I couldn't ask for more when it comes to the strap. Um, and three songs. And I see the neck is, is. Do you prefer fat neck guitars, or do you prefer like the slimmer necks, or somewhere between? I think I prefer the fat neck guitar, even though I have like very little fingers. <laughs> so, but um, it's just a bigger sound, so to say, and this is the 1969 Telecaster. Can I look at it? Or? Yeah, you can, <laughs> of course. It's also very um, battered already, but that's what I really like. Ah. <laughs> no, let me come this side, sorry about it. So, and really I used it a lot, you can see it. It was already battered when I bought it, but there are there have been many, many more cracks since I'm playing it. And it's a very good sound, very uh, clear and dynamic sound. I love it very much. by Florian Jäger, the Gibson 59 reissue. And well, it's been used, you can see it. A lot of cracks as well. Very nice uh, woody sound, very natural. Um, low output, which I like very much because of my amps. I will tell you later because they are very dynamic. And very nice. Uh, I see you have the pickup flipped around in the in the top there. This is something that that Gary Moore would have done, or exactly, exactly. And it's out of phase, so I can play the Peter Green songs. Yeah, yeah, it's very really nice. Yeah. to the amplifiers. What, what have you got here? Um, I got the uh, 33 watt real tone signature model. 
Um, and to give you the idea, the Real Tone Factory, it's a very good friend of mine. And uh, these I play usually. So I have like three of them. And I uh, don't have like a very big output, like 100 watt Marshall or something. And they're very low, like I said, um, 33 watts only. Yeah. And I use them all the time. It has got the uh, reverb. You can really put in the sweet spot that it's like a lower out output. You don't blow people's heads off. Very natural and you can hear the guitar. And that would make sense if you have like three different styles of guitar, Stratocaster, Telecaster and Les Paul. So you can really hear the vibe and the feel of the guitar because they are very natural and dynamic. Um, not too many knobs, which I like very much. Um, if you look at this amp, it's just... Um, more output. This one is would be 100 watts and you can split it into 50 as well. This one has got no uh, reverb, okay. so it's very dry and I use it for like most of the time for the PA guys, okay. that they have a dry signal without the reverb, because some of the songs I put on like uh, quite a lot of reverb, yeah. like the Peter Green and yeah. the slow ballads, and so the sound guy has left one amp that's totally dry. Okay. And they have like a similar sound, I think. And they both on all the time. All the time. Yeah, all the time. And use it, some kind of switching system, layer switching system. Which yeah. You, yeah, which I show you in a video. Okay. <laughs> and uh, one question that I have is, we noticed on your last concert that you actually change, you don't go between a lot of different types of guitars. You just plug it, and you don't change anything on the amps. And no. what is the trick that it, they both all sound good? I mean, because usually if you change like from a Les Paul to a Strat, you got to fiddle around a little bit. What, is it in the hands or? Uh, do you connect telepathically to the amplifier or how do you solve No, I think because I've been playing the real tone amps for over 10 years now and it has got something to do with the amplifier that you can plug on the Les Paul which normally has got much more output than for example the Strat uh -huh. and, but it's always like a flat crunchy sound you could use on the Stratocaster and on the Les Paul as well so unbox the single car, doesn't matter you just maybe put on some volume at the strap and yeah. less volume at the less ball. You also have like lower output pickups in the less ball, which are like more of this sound. Like more, yeah, because it's not so heavy and you can hear the amp coming through yeah. more and it's a more natural sound. You can hear the soul of the guitar as well, much better. Cool. 
cool, man. Should we have a little yeah. peek at your pedal yeah. board? It's very empty at the moment. So I'm just using the uh, Lele switching system okay. um, to plug in two amps at the same time. And I can go like this and they are on all okay. the time. And there's also an input for the guitar tuner, just in case I bend the strings yeah. <laughs> too much, so I have to tune back. It's this one then. Um, you got a three for the, for the drive sounds you use mainly. I see you got an AC booster yeah. uh, from Exotic Effects, and you got a uh, um, RC sorry, RC booster. RC booster, booster yeah. Booster, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, they are very like natural, not so nosy. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you say nasally, this. Yeah, 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 nasally. Yeah, yeah, And yeah, they are very like more boosters than uh, distortion yeah. pedals. And how do you use, do you have like, let's say some people, what they do, they keep the RC booster on all the time, or do you do that as well, or do you just step on the one and then you use the other one to boost it, or do you, well, how, do you how do you actually use these two pedals, basically? Um, basically, it's the sound of the M, that's very crunchy, so for the rhythm parts, I don't use the pedals, and if I play, so to say, with the Les Paul, for example, I just use the RC booster, because it's got, it's got more output, more? Because it's got more output. <laughs> we didn't for me. Because you will cut it into pieces, right? Yeah, yeah. No <laughs> Maybe. Worries, okay. So and then uh, if I play the strat and I play like a really um, yeah. uh, long solo, which I need like sustain. more distortion and sustain, I put on both of them at the same so, time. Okay. And I never use only this one. It's all, always in addition to the RC boost. And that's an old um, Bava pedal by Vox, yeah, yeah. I think out of the 60s or something. And just three days ago, I yeah. <laughs> invited this little pedal again on the board. Uh -huh. It's very nice. It's something like Leslie Simulator, is Corals it, Vibrato. Is this also like a vintage piece from back in the day, or is it something new? Or is it like uh, I think it's one of the um, first pedals uh, that have been built by Fulton. So it's kind of old, but it's of course it's not um, like back in the days in the 60s or 50s, yeah, yeah. but it's because it's a, like a new factory. Yeah, for sure. It's not yeah. such an old company. Yeah, and that's it. That's it, man. So you think you basically keep it simple. You like to keep things simple, and you don't like you never use like any like digital effects or anything like that. Or uh, I, I wouldn't say I would say I'm just not used to use so many things because I can't concentrate on having too many knobs. Yeah, yeah. I like to keep it simple, simple and to keep the natural sound, yeah. to be honest, because... Do you ever add anything else? Do you ever like pull some... These always stay on your pedal board? Do you ever add any extra effects on there? Do you sometimes, or not, not so much, or you just yeah. try things out? Sometimes I, I have my moments where <laughs> I want to try everything out, but um, as soon as I get back to myself again, I just keep it simple yeah. and <laughs> lean on to the things. Um, that worked in the past, and yeah. that's exactly what I have on the board right now. I mean, for like ladies, you know, they collect shoes. We men, guitar players, we collect guitar pedals and guitars. It's yeah, I more bags or <laughs> watches or something, whatever. Yeah. But I'm not a guitar collector. You don't collect? Well. No, no, I'm not. Well, it's quite a good start you have there. <laughs> yeah, but it's <laughs> many years ago. All the same guitars that I had, yeah. like five years ago. So. Great, man.
both of them are not the same color. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now everything is yeah, yeah, like yeah. so to say. Yeah. And you never use this on, on its own? The, this one? Yeah. No, no. It's always like Just um, the in addition to the RC booster. Okay. okay. This is more like for the distortion and the RC booster is like more for boosting uh, sure. the sound and yeah, to yeah. make it a little bit louder. And this old wah wah pedal. Sound. What about the vibe? Hmm? What about the vibe? Can we? The vibe, yeah. Yeah. stuff man well Henrik uh, just wanted to thank you very much for giving us the time to my pleasure look through your girlfriends <laughs> your, your rigs yeah. very nice guitars and you know name of global guitar and well, the people of Hungary you know we'd like to wish you a very very good show you thank know, you very much. That, that you have a good time you know like mm -hmm. just go out and enjoy yourselves and nah, don't worry come back whenever you want to and yeah. you're always welcome so <laughs> I will come back tomorrow yeah you're welcome <laughs> okay well, Thanks, man. Thank you. Andrew. Thanks. Thank you. My pleasure. So this is GlobalGuitar.hu. Stay tuned.